Hello everyone, this is my channel Tally Learning World. In today's video, we will discuss about how to do advance payment under GST. To record advance payment under GST, we need to press F11. Under Enable Goods and Service Tax, we have an option Enable Tax Liability on Advance Receipt need to be S. So once we press S, we'll press Ctrl A to accept the screen. So let's record a transaction of advance payment. To record a transaction, we'll go to Voucher and we'll open the payment voucher by using F5. So to create a party, you can use here the shortcut create and you can select the party name as Sunil under sundry credit task and I'll just keep the GSTN number and I'll just press Ctrl A. So as you can see the party has been created. Now I'll select here Sunil as my party. I'll give some of the amount as 100 rupees as my advance. I'll select here advance receipt. I'll just press Ctrl A. So now you can see in my GSTR2 report if I go to here there is no advance paid still. To record this advance paid we need to record a journal voucher. To record this journal voucher we will go to gateway of tally voucher F7. So here we will just press Alt J select type of duty tax as GST and increase of tax liability. Now you can see here we have to select as advances paid under reverse charge. So once after we select here, we will select a ledger tax on advance ledger. So it has to be created under current asset as you can see how the ledger has been created. And we'll just press Ctrl A and I'll give the advance amount which I have been received. So as you can see the tax will be here 2.38 if it's 5% on 100 rupees. So CGST and 2.38 rupees on SGST including this board the amount is 4.76. So let me enter that and to CGST 2.5 and the taxable value 95.24 is my taxable value. So here 2.38 I'll enter it for CGST, 2.38 for SGST. And I'll enable the option provide GST details and select the party name here as Sunil because I have made advance payment to Sunil. So I'll just press Ctrl A. Once we record a journal voucher, we'll go to the Alt G R2 report. As you can see, it's been displayed under advances paid. So once the advance is paid, we can record a purchases. To record a purchase, we'll go to the voucher from the gateway of tally voucher, then we'll press F9 and we'll give the supplier invoice number and the party name will select as Sunil. As you can see, I'll select here purchase ledger and item for 5%. I'm going to record. I have ordered two quantity. So out of that, I have selected CGST and SGST. 
So I'll select here against reference and you can see the advance amount which I have paid 100 rupees. That screen it's been displayed. So I'll just enter and press Ctrl E. So once the advance has been nullified in the purchases, again to reduce this adjustment of advances paid, we need to record one more general voucher. So you can go to the general voucher. We can press Alt J. Type of duty tax GST decrease of tax liability. So as you can see here, purchase against advance payment in additional details need to be selected. So here we need to do here CGST 2.5 and the taxable value 95.24. 95.24 and I'll enter 2.38 as my CGST amount by again SGST 2.5 with 2.38 as the amount I'll credit it to tax on advance 4.76 so here provide GST details let me enable the US and select the party name as Sunil. I'll press Ctrl A. Once the voucher is got saved, we'll just press Alt G, R2 report. Once we check in this R2 report, as you can see, the adjustment of advances has been nullified. Thank you for watching my videos. Kindly like, comment, and share my videos. For more videos, subscribe to my channel. Tiny Learning World and press the bell icon to get new updates and new videos.